Okay, this is actually... This is a game that came out, like, I think, last year to very little fanfare. Um, it's Dungeon Nightmares 3! Ergastulum. So, if you don't know anything about Dungeon Nightmares, this was actually... The original Dungeon Nightmares was made... Like, ten years ago? Nine years ago, I think? Like, 2011, 2012? They also came out with the Dungeon Nightmares 2 after that. And then it was like about eight years or so until this one came out. So it's a very old indie horror game series and like the re in recent memory. Um, this has actually been on the like coming soon thing for a long time of like it's been development. Um, as you can tell by the menu music, it's got that like 2011 indie horror game vibe to it. I can't tell you how many games I played like nine, 10 years ago that had a menu music that sounded exactly like this. Anyway, we're gonna start up a new game. I'm gonna turn that down again. Noises will attract those around you. No, they won't. Noises that loud will not attract anyone. They will repel people. Act one, the blood of a witch. Okay. <laughs> Glad you made it. I take it you found the front door keys easily. I'm sorry that I had to leave in a hurry, but you can stay in the bedroom upstairs. I've already prepared the room for you to stay in, so help yourself to anything else that you need. I'll see you soon. L X O X O. Who's L? Now it's been a long time since I've played the first two Dungeon Nightmares games. What am I doing? Oh. Inspect. I'm inspecting the glass, apparently. Nice. I don't know. There's a cross in the upper left. Dialing one. Wait, is it because I... What? Blood is for redemption. Water is for imparting life. Okay. We have no candles. What, what, what am I doing? Okay. So I picked up some cardboard boxes and threw them on the ground. <laughs> Never leave without a crucifix. Find one in the room before you explore the house and press X to use it. I'm going to go ahead and rebind that control if I can. Basic crucifix found. Okay. Can I rebind? Oh my god, you can't. Okay. Well, this is kind of awkward because I had a stream um, a couple weeks ago where I... The X key is missing, basically, on my keyboard. It's the only key missing. It's literally the only key missing. Why is there a loading bar for opening doors? The Black-Eyed Children, page one of two. These black-eyed children appear often late at night, knocking on your doors and windows. The legend. According to the urban legends, these black-eyed children appear to the unwary, often late at night, knocking on doors and windows, asking in monotonous voices to be let into your house. They sound so boring. The most repeated advice to those who encounter these children is to ignore them, no matter how hard these children try. When will they visit? The black-eyed children usually appear at one's doorstep, alone or in a pair. Whenever you are alone at home, they are usually unusually confident, but avoid your gaze and look down, hiding their eyes so that you cannot see their black eyes. They're very fixated on the black eyes. I'm gonna have my cruci- I'm just gonna have the crucifix out. Look, it's reflecting light, weirdly. The laundry room door is locked, okay? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, dude? What? Toy cube, you put the toy cube in your pocket. You place the toy cube on the toy box. Oh, oh, okay. And then I gotta spell something. 
probably dead or something like that. Toy box is locked. Oh, well, toy cube found. Okay. Okay, do I have to find more toy cubes? Okay. The bedroom door needs a key. What's with the, what's with the, um, heartbeat in the background? Are we okay? Look, we got a photo of Jesus. We got several photos of Jesus. That'll keep the demons away. But then right just above Jesus, we have a photo of a skull. That's probably not going to help that much. The master bedroom door handle is missing. Can't open it yet. Is this my home? No, I need to wait for Lisa to come back home. All right, she wrote me that note. I've already forgotten about that. I already forgot that that even happened. What a pigsty. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> I like, I like immediately broke that vase. All right. What an awful house. Hey, look, a phone that's not connected to anything. A phone that's only connected to itself. Is it going to say dialing one? This phone can only dial six. Let's do it. Let's dial 666. Only number six works. Hmm. I dialed, I dialed 666. Nothing happened though. Oh my God. This is nothing like the first two Dungeon Nightmares games. What? Uh... I almost forgot. I lost the door handle. I was fixing in the workshop somewhere. I left the keys to the workshop in the kitchen drawer. So if you get a chance, can you try and fig find it for me? What? Okay. What, what, what kitchen drawer? Not, not, not the empty one. I'm guessing. Workshop key found. Does anyone else feel like the FOV is like really, I'm not normally one to complain about this, but it's like really close, isn't it? Like, I feel like we're zoomed in, but the thing is you can zoom in even more. Oh, here it is. I found it like immediately door handle found. Do I need this door handle for the master bedroom? So many foes of Jesus. Turn that off. I need to find a record to play first. Why? <laughs> I like that you can click on the toilet and flush it. And I like that you can press the metronome to just make it start running. That's really funny. The smiling killer publicly executed for the gruesome murder of 66 young children. <gasps> also known as the smiling creeper. Ooh, creepypasta. The legend. The smiling killer, commonly known as the smiling creeper very creative, was a psychopathic serial killer believed to have killed and eaten 66 young children. He was caught and publicly burnt alive by local village residents after one girl escaped his dungeon that he had built for his victims. Many say that as he was burning alive at the stake, he was laughing and smiling at the young girl that had escaped his dungeon. <laughs> How evil! According to the legend, it is said that the smiling creeper has continued his lust for killing young children whilst they are sleeping. This is so edgy. Finding the smiling creeper. Wait, what? Why do we want to find this guy? No one really knows what summons the smiling creeper, but it is said that he will come to you while you are sleeping. Some say that if you leave a window open at night, you are inviting the smiling creeper to come to you at night during your sleep. It is commonly stated that the smiling creeper does not like to be seen and will only move when no one else can see him. I mean, we can we can see where this is going, right? According to stories, the smiling creeper is also known to laugh and smile at his victim, victims whilst he stalks them. Wow, very scary. Nice, that was so loud. That was such a, this is such a loud sound. That's like the sound of scraping a concrete chair across across more concrete oh wait, what is this oh the bathroom knocker awaits those who ask if she is there the bathroom knocker is a popular and widespread urban legend often played by children as a rite of courage similar to the bloody mary urban legend in western culture i see 
Someone was inspired by the uh, Bloody Mary legend then. Every child has a story to tell the stories. Of course. Are, are many and varied, but every child at one time or another has stood in dread in anticipation as he or she ventured into the bathroom at night alone. I get what they're saying, I guess. According to the stories, a person who goes to the bathroom at 3 a.m. and knocks three times before asking, are you there? Such a specific activity, can I say? We'll hear a voice answer, I'm here. If the person chooses to enter the bathroom, there'll be a small girl waiting inside. According to the legend of the bathroom knocker, what happens next will vary depending on the person who knocks on the door. Sometimes a hand will bust through the door and drag the person into the bathroom and kill them. Why would you ever want to do this? Usually, though, after the pause, the bathroom door will open just a little bit. Then if the person is brave enough, they'll be able to push the door open, revealing the bathroom knocker itself. Those that start the summoning but fail to complete it have also been reported to have been killed or missing ever since. So what's, what is the benefit of doing this? Like, what? why would I ever do that? Like, I can either be killed or I can see it. What's this? This locked chest has a snake symbol on it. Very interesting. Very cool. I like how we have tons of cabinets and drawers with nothing inside. Nothing at all. Love it. What is this, though? Small bell found. Okay. Th that has a normal... Why, why did this one have a normal sound effect? Did you hear that? Compare that with this one. Why does it sound like that? Okay, I'm gonna put the cross away until I need it, by the way. Oh. Okay. Well, first of all, I didn't know that you could do this. Well, let's open it then. What is... Again, what what is this? The locked chest has a spider symbol on it. Okay. Why is there a loading symbol? Anytime I try to open a drawer. Oh. Okay, hang on. How do you close this? I want to get over here. Oh, okay. Hi. Are you sure? Why would you have this right next to your bed? Um, hello? Also, you have no sheets. What kind of heathen lives here? The storeroom door is locked. Lisa's house is horrible, man. How does anyone live here? Also, opening drawers, it makes it sound like you're like moving a giant cabinet. Okay, there appears to be nothing in here. Am I missing something? Did I miss? Did I miss anything? This looks suspicious, but I can't investigate it. I. <laughs> what? What? Dude, for a game that was like boring me to tears until just now that was very odd i don't know okay i i guess i are we done why is it locked it's locked now hey hey you I got a cross out now. We heard about the children with the black eyes. We heard about the bathroom knocker. We heard about the smiling creeper, right? So I don't, uh, what is that? What was that? And why can't I get it to come back? It's like it was just a jump scare and then that's it. Oh, oh, oh. Checkpoint reached. This is all we had to do. The legend of Bloody Mary. You, you literally put Bloody Mary in here too? There's two bathroom related creepypastas then. Bloody Mary is a folklore legend consisting of a ghost fan. We already know. We already know that. Yeah, and a source of light when the nearby light is turned off. Okay. So what, now we can leave? 
The door's still locked. So then what do you do, dude? There's nothing to do in here and the door's locked for some reason. Do I talk to, do I do it to this? Oh my God. The mirror is pretty dirty and hard to see. Well, I said it three times, chanting her name in a mirror three times near a source of light. Oh, when the nearby light is turned off. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, the room is too bright. I should turn off the main light. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, okay, we'll do this. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we'll say it. Okay. There we go. Hmm, I guess Bloody Mary really is just an urban myth. <laughs> what? It's gonna, she's gonna appear, right? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, <gasps> you in Silent Hill. Hello? Oh, dude, dude, what, dude, what is with the hooks? There's a triangle here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Toy cube. <laughs> okay. I'm on a toy cube, y'all. Oh, this person's still alive. Look, they're moving. Oh, wow. Watch out. What's this? Oh, my. Oh. This thing again. Okay. Tons of mannequins up here. Nice. <laughs> okay. Record found. Okay. I stopped the wheel from turning. What was that? So I got a record. I can't go back in here yet. Some of these... Was it the bike? Is it the bike? Okay, I'm just gonna go. I mean, like, are we gonna... Are we gonna see Bloody Mary? So that's a TV or, okay, cool. Maybe I'll t actually turn it off. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll play the record on. What was that? Playing music. What is this? The benefits of lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming has been known for centuries. Lucid dream is a dream during which the dreamer is aware of dreaming. During lucid dreaming, the dreamer may be able to exert some degree of control over the dream character's narrative and environment. There are many ways to have a lucid dream, but one method is by forcing yourself to sleep through self-hypnosis. To perform self-hypnosis, you must be seated in a relaxed position, have a metronome present, and begin listening to the repeating beats it makes. Once you're ready to fall into the lucid dream, play a soothing piece of music to complete the procedure. Oh, oops, sorry. Okay, so, wait, am I trying to do that right now? Man, I'm really bored waiting for Lisa to come back, huh? What am I, what am I doing? What was that? Are we good? What? Press M for your map to help you navigate the door. Oh, we're in a dungeon now. This is more like the first two games then. Press C to take out the candle. Repent your sins. 
Can I take the candle? Okay. Um. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the cross is going down. Oh, I don't have that many. It's got like power. Can I talk to you? Uh, whoa, where'd you get, where, dude, where'd you get that from? Please accept this gift. Your health is full. Thanks. Are you friendly? Where are you getting these from? I need the crucifix to acquire this soul. Minor soul acquired. I don't know what that means. What is this place? I can't seem to find a way out and I'm starting to give up. Is this what you want from me, Mary? What? What was that? Whoa, calm down, bro. Large soul acquired. Okay, I just gained a thousand from that. I cannot carry more than three candles. Okay, but... All right, why would I need a candle though? Okay, let's take a look at, oh, okay, this tells me where I am. Nice. Hello? How do I light my candle? How... Can I light the candle? Oh, you hold it over. You don't, you don't click. Typically in the first two Dungeon Nightmares games, oh, you just got a spy in here. Um, you would like navigate through a dungeon and you would get points and there'd be monsters to avoid, like things to collect. And that's kind of what this is like. I don't really understand like the overworld. Okay, so I've been over here. I haven't been anywhere else really. Can I help you? Bro, do you have a knife? Did you run into the, you ran into the cabinet and now I think she's stuck. She's got a knife though, grow up. Gross, okay. So what do you do all day, pentagram on the chest man? Leave what you can wonder. I love just placing a rib cage inside a coffin like that. Damn, did you hear? This guy is like really getting into it. Where are the bad guys? That's a great question. Get off of me. So I guess that's Bloody Mary? Recover your grave, okay. So I died right outside. What's happening? That was incredibly loud. I don't understand. Why do I keep opening this? What is... Oh, you can hide in these? I actually did not know that. What is that? I ate an apple. We gotta find that Bloody Mary. And we gotta kill her with the crucifix. I think I was doing damage to her, but she just got too close and it's like an insta kill. Are you kidding me? Exit portal discovered. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm 
Dude, you gave me an apple that fell through the floor. Thanks a lot. How much did you give you? Yeah, why don't you leave? What good are you? Day 24. I've given up all hope in finding a way out. What key? What artifact? I don't understand what you need me to find. Food rations are also low, and I've begun to hide them around the dungeons. But those damn creatures still find a way to find them. Okay. Uh, weird. What are y'all looking at? I imagine exerting so much effort to open something that just has like a rib cage in it. What is this place? I can't seem to find a way out. I'm starting to give up. Is this what you want from me, Mary? Didn't I didn't I already read that one? This is this is the same note. There's there's literally I think there's like two notes. And they just repeat. What is that? What is this? Unlimited stamina? What is this? No! I don't want to hide. What is, what is this? What is the note? Oh my god, you can't read it. Well, if I've got unlimited stamina, I want to find what's her butt? The enemy, the main enemy. Where is she? No, stop giving me useless crap. What is it? Something, uh, it fell through the floor again. Um, the only place I haven't been is down here. Still got 40 seconds of unlimited stamina, I guess. Might as well use it. What I just do? What is this? Snake key found. Oh. The snake key will help us. We can open the chest in the house now. Oh, okay. Well, then let's leave. Maybe we don't have to kill Bloody Mary. What? I don't know. Um. Oh, the, what the hell? <laughs> you think, like, Bloody Mary's around? Where's she been? Because she was like right outside the starting area before. And now she's gone. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just... Okay. So where's the snake chest? Maybe it was upstairs. I do. You know what? I do actually have uh, a cube that I can use too. So let's go back up there. Why is there a skull here? Skull ornament found. Why am I taking this? Oh, whoa. Wait, what is this? Each one is different. This hole has a square peg. Triangle peg. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Act one, the blood of a witch completed. All right. Basement key found. Glass eye blue found. Shiny glass eye that's cold to the touch. The iris is colored blue, so it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, the basement is located on the ground floor. Well, it would have to be, wouldn't it? Oh, is this it? Oh, here's the basement. Thanks. Oh my god. Wow. The basement's flooded! Hello? Feed me your souls. <laughs> Seriously? The basement is still leaking. I thought I told you to get it repaired. We will have to get someone in to take a look because this can't carry on. Who wrote this, Lisa? I need to collect more lost souls. Well, like this one? Grand soul acquired. So I gave, so I gave souls to the creepy thing in the basement. Whoa. Uh, it isn't responding anymore. Well, how many did I give it? Like 3,000? 
I want to see if I get like that. Okay, before we go through the portal, let's uh look around a little bit more. There's nothing else down here. Okay. Sorry, my bad. I'll go through the mystical portal in the basement that I had to sacrifice 3,000 souls for. No big deal. I like... Uh, Act 2. The Dark World. You don't have a map for this area, really. I will talk to you another time, Wanderer. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, look. Leave me alone. Okay. I'll just take your stuff. There's a bunch of these guys. I will avenge the death of my child. Okay, that's a weird icebreaker, but sure. Lair of the Unholy Witch is coming soon. Use that crucifix whilst in the dungeons. Yeah, you mean like this? I see you have a crucifix. Use it wisely. Do you have any like non-crucifix related dialogue? I like how he sounds different every time I talk to him. Sometimes he goes, and other times he goes, So what is this? What am I doing? Sorrow Wood Catacombs. Okay. Let's keep going at, down in this out of focus world right here. It's really blurry. Do I have a map? Oh my God. Well, that's not good. Do y'all see what I see? What? What the? What the? Look, it's got... Yeah, look at you. What is going on? What the fuck? When are you gonna die, dude? This gameplay at all? What is the gameplay? What is the gameplay? I don't understand. What was the gameplay? Ow. Wait. Oh, y'all aren't the nice ones. Did you just like. Did you just bite me? What are you doing? Hey, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> uh, okay, bye, I guess. Wait, is it this way? Okay, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go this way. Is this going to do anything when I do this? Oh. Maybe I'll wait a sec. Yeah, 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 let me in, please. Uh, dude, uh, what the fuck? What the? Get away from me. Yeah. No. Yeah, you like that? Okay. Okay, I just gotta go to the right. Oh, oh. I saw you moving for some reason. No, 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 no. What the fuck is this game, man? <laughs> what? What, you're back here? <laughs> ah! What the fuck? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? That's like a... I got like gang banged by different ghosts in there and shit. Okay. It's in this next one. Okay.
Where the fuck? Y'all are both in here! Y'all are both in here. No, dude, she's just running now. She's just running. I don't understand. I'm gonna be a little cheeky here. <laughs> Fuck off. No? Yeah, look at you. Look at you. How about this? How about this? How about this? We just close? We close the door. Oh my god. What? I'm not going back in there. Where is this? Yeah, I have to say, uh, the game... How do I say this? The game is very janky. And, and pretty weird, and very, like, 2012. Um, but I do like the enemies. I, d I do like that... Sometimes, just sometimes you run across weird enemies. Oh, a lit candle, right. You run across, like, weird enemies that you're like... What does this thing do? And then they just like start freaking out and moving a lot. And it's like, you don't know exactly how to counter it. So you just have to react in the moment. I like that about it. I remember when you came to life. You, th you think I don't remember that shit? I remember that. There, there's nothing in here. There's a rib cage every two feet in this game. There's there's literally there's a new rib cage Every two feet, okay Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go back out this way Excuse me, I heard a door open somewhere was there Where'd that door open? There's a very loud creak. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Wait, what? what? Which way? Okay, it was this way. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak past him. This is like the smiling creeper or whatever, right? Yeah, don't just- Oh! I thought I could just like, walk past. I thought I could just like walk past it. Damn! I gotta get my souls. Fuck off. Hey, what does this do actually? I'm curious what this does. That's why I know. Only the correct sequence will reward you. Okay, triangle, wheel, upside down triangle. Tri wait. A triangle with lines through them. You know, I saw those. I saw those back in the upper left. Hmm. I remember seeing those with that with that crazy lady with the knife. Oh no, not over there. Okay. I have to go get my soul. <laughs> Fuck off! Why? What? Fuck off! Can I move?
Uh uh. Repent your sins. What does that mean? Okay. Dude, what the hell? I thought that that wasn't that the smiling creeper? I thought they weren't supposed to move when you looked at them. Oh, shut up. What? Well, if this is just another rib cage, I'm going to lose it. Okay. It, it was another rib cage, so I'm going to lose it. Oh, dude, there's nothing. There's nothing in here. Oh, we have to go back out and tur turn to the left. Okay. Fuck it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> that sounded like some scrambling going on back there. Close it. Close it. Hey. Is this... Did you hear... Somebody's opening doors. Oh, don't scare me like that. It's just one of you. Whatever. I, I think we need to find... So it's, it's pretty clear that in each dungeon, there's like... Some kind of key item that you can find. And then a portal to escape. So like in the last one, we found the snake key. And that was really good. Why is this open? I've never been here. Oh, thank God, dude. Yeah, please. Oh, well, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you serious? Okay, yeah, you got anything better than that? Okay, let's see. Well, actually, we kind of want to go to the left. Okay. Let's get some light. Can I eat this? Hungry. My health is full. Dude. No, not again! Okay, I'm just gonna... Don't tell me there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. So one thing about Dungeon Nightmares historically, I don't know if this game's the same way, but there it's uh, like randomly generated. It's randomly generated, so um, that's why sometimes you're like, oh, this, this is a dead end with nothing in it. It sucks, but... Oh, I'm out of candles. No way. I think, I think if I use the crucifix on this thing, it, it pisses it off. So I'm not going to do that. It's still in the coffin, thank God. Okay. Going back. Okay. Let's take a look. Do we want to go down? I think I want to go down. Okay, here we go. What is this? What is this? Oh, the artifact. We found it. No. No. Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay, we still gotta find the exit portal though. That's the issue. That's the issue. We still gotta find the exit portal. Close it, close it, close it, close it. Sorry. Hey, hey. Secret treasure is for you. Oh yeah, thank you for the hint. You have, any, you have anything to give me. Are you serious? Wait, can I just get back to the rope? Isn't it right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I can just get out. And get out. Oh, I'm out. I am out. See ya. That dungeon sucked. Cool. So we don't need the exit portal, actually, because this is like a weird overworld, I think. And I think we can just get out up here and we'll have the final block 
which will open that uh, chest in the kids' room. Yeah, this game is definitely super janky, but oddly really interesting. I think a lot of that is the enemies. Although admittedly, a lot of the enemies are very similar. I'm noticing, like a lot of them are, I've got a big smile on my face and I will suddenly rush at you without warning. Like those are basically the enemies. I'm gonna go upstairs and use the... Wait, it's not that one? I can't get in there yet. Wow, that phone's just gonna keep ringing, huh? Okay, now we gotta spell something. E-P-H-L, so obviously... Is it gonna spell hell? Hell. The toy box is locked. Hmm. Maybe help? Okay. I, I took a very pessimistic approach to that. Green crystal found. A green crystal. Now, weirdly, this skull has a purple crystal. Too, but I don't understand what that... I don't understand what it does. Garden door needs a key. Okay, so the garden door needs a key. We've been to the basement. Can I look in the keyhole? So I can't, I can't like knock on this door. Yeah, no, I guess, I mean, I guess I could go back to the basement and do another dungeon or something like that. I actually think I'm gonna call it for today. Uh, that was, uh, we did a lot today and I've actually been playing this for, like, I've been playing Ergastulum for a lot longer than I thought I would. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it'd be interesting, but I thought it'd be kinda worse than it was.